everyone welcome back to another glorious day here in Ohio I have a special treat for you um, this is the brand new steel MS 500i if you're not sure if you're not familiar with this saw this is the very first fuel injected chainsaw ever to be introduced to the to the market they've been out for a couple years now over in Germany um, and they're just now starting to to trickle into the United States. As a matter of fact, to get one of these, you have to call your dealer and get put on a waiting list. Um, I was on a waiting list with three different dealers. One of them called yesterday and I ran right over and got this. I was pretty excited to uh, get my hands on one of these. Couple disclaimers real quick. I'm not a professional in any way. Um, so if you're looking for a professional review, see I can't even talk right. Um, this isn't the, the video for you. I am a homeowner. I own about ten and a half acres, uh, mostly wooded, and I use my chainsaws for uh, firewood and forest management. That's it. Uh, so I'm not cutting trees down for a living. Um, so take that into consideration. Also. I paid for this saw with my own money. No, um, I am not sponsored by anyone. I have no affiliation with steel. Um, they did give me a t-shirt and a hat when I bought the uh, bought the saw, but I just feel like that's part of the deal. I don't owe anybody anything. So whatever I say about this saw is honest um, and true. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna give you any feedback that's, that's wrong because there's nothing in it for me. This is the very first time I've ever run this saw. They started it at the dealer, that's it. So today is gonna be the first start of the saw and me running it. Um, they say saws get better after you break them in, so we'll see. I think this thing's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, um, but this is a 79cc uh, saw. I do have a 25 inch bar on it with a full comp, not chisel, I don't remember what they call it. Brand new chain. Um, the saw does no longer has the choke because it's fuel injected. So they say to start this, all you have to do is hit this primer button here eight times. And then, uh, start it. It only has a shut off button. Oh, 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 
quicker than my 461. So far, I like it. Oh, oh, oh. 
So, initial thoughts, it's epic. It's not super heavy, I don't, you could look the specs up. I think it's right in line with a uh, 461, which is what I'm used to. Um, I do have a regular 25 inch bar on it. I wish it was, I, 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 I want a lightweight bar for it. It feels a little nose heavy. It's not bad though, just being a wuss. The power is smooth. It's it doesn't. Uh, it's just it's very smooth. I don't know how to explain it. It's just you're cutting, and it's very smooth. Um, the the throttle response, like I said earlier, is just right there. It's instant, and it seems to be uh, just spinning at really high RPMs. Even when was, when I was in that stump back there. Um, it never really stalled. It just bogged down and, and seemed to have a lot of low end torque. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Should you go buy one? Well, I don't, it's up to you. Uh, I paid 1300 bucks for that. I want to say my 461 was 1100. Maybe 12. I don't know. I'd have to look up the receipts. I'm sorry. I don't have that information But what I'm trying to say is it's not That much more money than uh, a carbureted or the Mtronic version the 462 And I feel like you get Overall better saw. I mean, I still love that 461, but This is a nice saw so I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, it's fuel injected, so you're not going to work on it yourself. Um, it's proven. They've had that that injection system in their uh, um, concrete saw for several years now under testing. And then this saw has been out, like I said earlier, in Germany for the last two years. And guys are using them, putting them through hard work. And they're holding up, and there's no issues. So... Anything could go wrong, um, you know, but it's no different than your car. <laughs> it's very hard to, to buy a brand new, well, I don't think you can buy a brand new carbureted anything because it's all fuel injected. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't let that scare you. Technology's come a long way and steel really knows what they're doing. So I trust them. I'm happy with it. So I think I'm going to end this video right now. It's going to be a long one. Uh, if you've made it this far, I appreciate your views. I appreciate everybody's support. Um, click that thumbs up down below if, if you want to see more videos like this. If you uh, Tell me what you think of the saw. Uh, leave a comment on what you think of the saw. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.
Like I said, I just picked this up yesterday. Could you guys just, just for a minute? No? All right. All right, like I was saying earlier, 